In this video, we're gonna be using the Shaving Shop Club Signature Shaving Soap and the W.H. Morley and Sons Clover Brand Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and I hope you are having a great Tuesday morning. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So, as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using the Club Signature. Now, this is the same folks that uh, make the A&E products, Sneaky Pete, Sneaky Pete uh, Charcalis, beautiful scent on this soap. I really like it. Scent strength for me is about six, a little over medium. Very, very nice scent. Uh, the way the the notes are described on this one uh, is, let's see, I wrote it down. Bourbon, tobacco, sandalwood, and agar wood, or however you say that. It almost has sort of a vanilla type quality to me. It's really really enjoyable. I just really, really like this scent. Oh, just, I, I've been smelling it um, for the past couple of days, and I'm like, I can't wait to use this. I've had it for several days, but uh, I really liked it. By the way, this this order did arrive to me quite quickly this time, so um, the club and A&E definitely working on that shipping process, which is uh, awesome. The cost on this, uh, fair price, under $5 an ounce, so on our chart, it falls in that fair price uh, range if you're a member of the Shaving Shop Club. We'll speak a little bit about that as we go. I'm going to be using the W.H. Morley & Sons Clover Brand, Clover Brand Razor, which was sent to me by uh, So Sharp David. Thank you, David. I appreciate it. That has a Stephen Davidson edge. So let's get going today. Today we're working on hmm, somewhere around 24 hours growth. You can see it there. That's our daily growth. I'm a seven day a week shaver for the most part, unless maybe I go camping or something, I might skip a day, but um, I'm a daily shaver and really I have been for as long as I can remember. There's been very few times where I've missed more than a couple of days of shaving. Um, all right, this is the PAA Cube. Uh, again, these sort of things for me, not 100% necessary, um, but I like using the pre-shaves. I have them, may as well use them. Terrific ingredients in this uh, soap here. Uh, just absolutely phenomenal. It is one of those soaps where I say it's got the, the super blue emu and the unicorn milk and the dragon tallow and the chupacabra oil. Uh, it has goat's milk. I'm just reading some of the ingredients. I'll put it there for you. Goat's milk, cocoa butter, shea butter, aloe, lanolin. Really, really fine quality soaps that you get from Ariana and Evans and the Shaving Shop Club. So the Shaving Shop Club, if you're uh, curious about it, it's something like $12.99 for six months. And by virtue of being a member, you get first access to basically everything that's released in there and uh, discounted prices. And so a soap of this quality uh, in that $4, let's say a little over $4.50, is not a bad price because it is a high quality soap. Now, does this soap do for me and the mechanics of the shave something that something else won't do? No, not really. But I think the rich ingredients do make it more enjoyable. Um, and perhaps you can make a case that it might lend itself to a better post shave. Again, I'm not concerned about that personally, but many people say it and so we'll, we'll mention that because your use case may be, you may have a case where you really find the post shave to be of great importance. Um, I do not, but you know, there's no right or want wrong. Boy, I'm tongue twisted already this morning. That's bad. There's no right or wrong way to enjoy um, these products really. Just enjoy them however you see fit and and go with it. Okay, so today I believe it's straight razor shave number 70, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll get going here with our Clover brand. And hopefully we'll have a nice shave today. You can hear that feedback on this hollow ground blade. One of the things I would like to start doing is to try to start uh, using longer strokes and less choppy strokes, but it's very hard for me to do because <laughs> I'm so accustomed to using shorter and choppier strokes, but 
Like right now, I'm attempting to do it. And I tell you what, one thing on my neck, the growth is in many different directions. And so I pretty much have to use multiple, you know, strokes on my neck. Just one long stroke simply will not get the hair. It, it just takes more than that. And I don't care what type of blade it is. It just won't, you know, it requires more. On the cheeks, I think I could probably get away with longer strokes. So let's try that today. Uh, I think I wasn't even stretching there. wasn't even pulling up. It's definitely best. Uh, I heard Guy Solis of, of uh, Gentleman's Edge and the Shaving Chronicles talking about this. Generally speaking, uh, your skin appreciates less strokes. So the closer you can get with the minimal amount of strokes is generally better. So if you can get away with doing that, that is awesome. Uh, but on my neck, it's just one of those places where it, the grain runs in all different directions. So it re just requires a lot of different strokes uh, to get it. But that was quite enjoyable. The soap quality is just, you know, this Sneaky Pete soaps at this point, as I've said so many times, and you've seen me using a lot of them recently because I've been buying a lot of them. Um, I find them to be... So if you're looking for a top premium sort of quality soap that doesn't have a premium price, then A&E is a great place to find it, uh, especially if you're a member of the club, you know, or Shaving Shop Club. So, you know, A&E is one of his brands and the Shaving Shop Club is another part of it. I get confused when they have all these spinoffs and, you know, uh, Razor Rock even does that. They have like Razor Rock and then the sometimes Italian Barber brand. And I'm like, ah, just stick with one, like A&E Club, you know, just stick with one, you know. <laughs> but I imagine there are reasons beyond my understanding that they do this. So this one is just, it's a club signature, you know. Uh, it's great. Um, I mean, I really like the quality and I love the scent. It's one of the subs that just makes me happy to use. And so I'm really... Enjoying it. Uh, okay, so what sort of setting would this scent be appropriate for? For me, I'm a grown man. I use what I want to, when I want to. And so I don't break down date night and all that crap. You know, for me, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm getting too old to worry about those things. I just don't care. You know, I'm gonna use what makes me happy. And I hope other people will be happy too with whatever they choose. I'm not worried about date night. I'm not worried about all these settings and whatnot. And what have you, have you, you know? I just want to use the stuff that I find to be very enjoyable and that smells great. Because let's face it, we work in the workplace. Uh, well, not so much now during the Rona age, but um, you go to work and there's all sorts of different scents, you know. If you work in a place where there are customers, there are customer scents. Uh, there are people wearing all sorts of things. There are people going outside smoking and coming in, so they smell like smoke. To me... I would always rather smell like some sort of nice fragrance. I don't care what shaving soap it is for the most part. It would always be preferable to me than cigarette smoke on somebody, for example. And even if you smoke, I think you can appreciate that cigarette smoke on clothes doesn't smell very good. And I'm not knocking people who smoke. I just, you know, or body odor, you know. So I always look at it. It's this way. If somebody's trying to smell nice, I generally appreciate them. And so I'm not worried about, oh, this this soap is appropriate for only this setting or that setting. I, I'm not interested in, in getting that far down into the weeds of things. Uh, if you do it, that is okay. And there are plenty of uh, reviewers. See, this is where we really require really multiple passes because otherwise it just will not get the hair. I mean, just it's growing all over the place. Um, and that's just the way it is. Anyhow, the point I'm getting to here is I just appreciate folks who are trying to smell nice. And even if maybe I don't like that particular fragrance, if it's a clone, I appreciate that they have enough pride that they're trying to smell nice, you know? So 
that's just me. I don't worry so much about, you know, the, the seasons and the, you know, all that kind of stuff. Many people do. The people who are highly into frags do often. And that is entirely okay if you do it. Just don't ask me to do it. Nor, you know, get on board with only using certain things at certain times. Because the number one thing for me in this hobby, number one period, no matter what, is enjoyment. And so uh, fragrances are a big part of the enjoyment. If these shaving soaps were all unscented, it wouldn't be nearly, honestly, without the scents, I don't know that I would enjoy the hobby aspect of this. I would just get in here, I would do my shave, and I would go on about my business. But because of these wonderful scents, that's, that's really what I love about it. You know, the act of shaving, I love too, but it's the scents. Like right now, I'm getting this great club signature scent, and it just, it makes me happy. And I hope uh, the scents make you happy as well. Tell me below, if you would, what type of scents when you use it, like what are those go-to scents that when you use it, you know immediately, I'm going to have a good day, you know? I think a lot of people have those go-to scents where they just know today is going to be a good day. And this scent for me is one of those where I just feel good about it. All right. Going well, I need to get a sponge. There's a lot of people using... Uh, sponges for wiping off the blade. Now I'm going to rinse in the sink just because I like to, to rinse it, but I would like to wipe the blade with a sponge after I rinse it. That would be awesome. So I need to get one because it does make more sense than using a, a cloth, which you have to wash, you know, regularly. Just rinse out the sponge and you're done. It's just a low maintenance sort of thing that makes a lot of sense to me. And I am one of these folks, and I say this often, that I am open to trying new things, you know? And as John from Lather Hall puts it, remaining teachable. And some, If somebody comes up with something that changes the way that things are done and it makes it more enjoyable, I'm on board, you know? I have very strong feelings about things, but I'm always trying things and I'm always uh, wanting to learn. That's important for me. Um, I'm always going to state my opinion, but I'm, I'm always keeping my mind open to learning, you know. I would say when it comes to products, look, at this point, things are good, you know. You, you're going to have to make an effort to find a product that doesn't work. But when you say things like, for example, this misting bottle, that seemed ridiculous when I first saw it, but it actually makes things nice because I don't have water running... Um, down my shirt and everywhere else. Um, it's really made things clean and it allows the water to be distributed pretty evenly. And I, I have really found it to be uh, an aid in the shaving. By the way, I always forget to mention it, but when I use club stuff, I always use my Ariana and synthetic brush, which I really like. I think you might have some badger still in the, in the club. So if you're interested, Check out the bat, the brushes that are left in the club if he has any. Again, high quality soap here. Um, smells great. Definitely gets a thumbs up for me, you know. There's no question. And again, this time the shipping was quite good. So, you know, it's, it's great. I know people get uh, sometimes irritated when some of us get into shipping and you know, labels and stuff, but we're here, my personal perspective is, when I'm showing you these products, I wanna give you some information that's valuable. I'm doing this for fun, like the shave and sharing it with you, but during the fun, I also want to be giving you some value for your time. And so this is why we talk about the labels and it's not to be a stickler about every detail of everything. It's to give you some value and go, okay, this, this is what we're seeing here, so on and so forth. Um, and also, what a lot of people may not understand is things have changed in this community over the years as a result of many of us 
making videos, writing written reviews, and making suggestions. So for example, the waterproof, the waterproof label that we now enjoy came as a result of us saying, hey, I'm tired of these labels that run, you know, because when we first got into this, you would get water on the label and it would just be destroyed. The, the, the plastic containers, which we enjoy now, was came as a result of many people saying, these tins are, are just not a good container because they rust, they dent, they don't honor the product, you know, in the way that we would like because we want to show something looking good. And some of the stuff even you find on labels are as a, are as a result of, you know, us trying to give good feedback. And so it's not just, when we're giving this feedback, it's not for the sake of complaining or being a contrarian. It is to provide value both to the artisan and the community uh, as a whole. And so, you know, keep that in mind when you're hearing me, when I talk about, for example, the under the sea label, which I didn't care for, there's reasons just beyond me not appreciating the artwork, you know. And viewers of mine have also asked, you know, how did they get away with not putting the information on the label? And the answer to that is, I don't know what the standards are by law. But I think in Europe, they may have some different standards and so on. And so we do this to provide value because um, everybody knows I like Pete personally. Like, he's a friend of mine. But I still... Um, I have an obligation to the cut to the uh, not customers but the viewers beyond just having fun to provide some value as well. So that's what I'm trying to do here is talk about the soap performance, talk about the cost, talk about the ingredients, and provide some additional de value and uh, insight as well during that process. So that is my process. So it's not only just for pure enjoyment, it's also to provide you with value. And I hope you appreciate that. Let's finish up this. This has been a really fun shave. I love these Barber's Notch razors. I find them to be my favorite style. And honestly, if I had a custom made, I would be very tempted to get them to make a Barber's Notch uh, razor. It's just got that old vibe to it that I really appreciate. And it is definitely my preferred style of uh, blade. Okay, let's finish up here on this side. I used to sort of pull my ear back on this side, but I've almost hit the blade when it's to my face several times, so sort of gotten out of the habit of doing that. Okay, what a terrific shave today with this uh, club signature, which smells great. The blade is doing what it's supposed to do. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. That is truly enjoyable. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and back with our Lancaster towel, which really, really wicks that moisture off in an excellent fashion. Here we have our, if I can find it, <laughs> Magic Made by Witches Thayers, which is great stuff. We use it every day. Uh, it soothes the skin. It acts as a mild astringent. Very good stuff, in my opinion. Uh, off cam, we use the PAA alum with dry dock, and this uh, alum block is holding up very well with the dry dock so far, so we'll continue to test that. And we shall follow up today uh, with the Tobacco Nui Splash from the club. I don't know if they offer this anymore, but Pete, this is a good set. Um, he offered these aftershaves in, in an aftershaves and soap set, which I think is very nice. This stuff smells great. I think it will go well with the signature. Oh, yeah. Woo! I'm telling you, if you like tobacco scents, you've got to get on to Pete. Sneaky Pete about bringing back the uh, sets that he had. Two different tobaccos, two different tobacco soaps and two different tobacco aftershaves. It was a tremendous set. I don't think it's offered anymore. Um, and when I say tobacco, I don't mean like burning cigarette tobacco. I mean sweet tobacco. Really, really, really excellent. So today we use the signature from the club. Outstanding quality. 
The shipping was great. The packaging is nice. No complaints. Big thumbs up. We also used the WH Morley and Sons Clover brand razor, which is uh, out of Germany. And it worked well. Really, everything hit the spot today. Also, don't forget the Ariane and Evans brush. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us. I've been your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.